Hi, uh, let's just talk about uh, GCP service accounting for solutions in Terraform. Uh, so when managing Google Cloud Platform resources with Terraform, there are two main approaches for uh, authentications and authorizing access. Uh, the one is traditional method, which we when we use the keys and the newer method is uh, GCP service account in impersonations uh, with, this, with this service account. So we will talk about this topic later. So let's just first understand uh, what is traditional method, which we call it key based access. So in traditional method, um, uh, what we do basically when we run Terraform, it involves generating and using a service account keys. And uh, you use those keys uh, and download as a JSON files and use to authenticate Terraform with the GCP APIs. So how it works, basically, if I show you my Terraform code here, uh, this is my uh, keys, right? You download those keys and then um, you put it uh, in the provider block and you uh, put the path in the credential, right? And in that way, uh, Terraform understand, okay, uh, how to authenticate with the Google Cloud Platform because it has a keys. So basically how it works, you generate a service account keys and service account keys are generated in, in the GCP console or you can also use the command line, right? And you can also use the environment variables, right? So you can um, use environmental variable in the terminal and these keys are stored as environmental variable on your machine where you want to run the Terraform, right? This is the second, I mean, this is the another way to store your credential files or the keys file. And then finally, you configure the Terraform provider and this provider is configured to use your service account right but um, the pros of this approach um, is that it's very simple um, compatible and very straightforward to use but the cons or the disadvantage of this uh, key based approach is that it imposes a security risk uh, because keys must be stored securely right to to prevent any unauthorized access and also uh, the another disadvantage is key management you know, managing and rotating the keys is itself a very complex, uh, complex task, especially when you are working in a large environments. Another, uh, another disadvantage is limited scope, right? Key provide access to all resource that the service account has a permissions for, which may be more than necessary for, for certain operations. Okay. So now let's talk about the new method, which we call it uh, GCP service account impersonations in Terraform. Um, so here um, the, in, in this method, service account impersonation uh, is basically allow one service account to act as a another service account. So this can simplify access control and enhance security uh, by, by limiting the access to only the uh, what is necessary, right? So here, what you what you basically do, uh, you create a impersonate service account, the uh, the one that will perform the impersonations, and the target service account, the one that will be impersonated. So here, this service account will be the impersonated impersonator, and this service account will act as a impersonate, right? And then you assign the roles to the service account, whatever permission that has the service account to has the apply the operations on on uh, the resources. Like let's say I have if I have giving service account uh, the owner access, the service account can perform everything, um, and this so this users or principals account can be can be as a can work as a impersonate, right? So assigning the necessary roles to the impersonator service account, and uh, then you configure the Terraform provider, which I will just cover in a second. Uh, this part right so let's just first understand this particular uh, diagram so here um, as a developer or devops you write a code on your laptop and terraform and then um, now what you're gonna do um, you're gonna impersonate um, a user or a user account uh, which uh, which you are going to use this user account uh, which will we act as an impersonate of the service account and then you will deploy your resource right so if you look if you go to the console um if you look at um, this uh, my i am i have a service account here so if i go to um, service account uh so this is a service account i just created it for the demo but if you look at this service account um, this uh, has no keys right and um, um, basically if you just click on this manage access part here um, you will see uh, you know your service account um, impersonations rules right basically uh, this is the 
the role service account token creator so as of now i have added myself as an admin to this service account token creator and one of the group gcp devops group um, the, the the member of this group uh, will be having this this role service account token creator right and um, so uh, these people these users uh, can be impersonate um, impersonate uh, with this service account and able to deploy the resource without having the keys if you want to add more uh, members here you simply add the principles here um, let's say i have a more groups here let's say you want to add this one uh, let's say network users so let's simply go here and add add the users here right and just select the rules security token creator and that's it so once this is created um you can uh, you can perform some of the validations uh, so let's say if i run so i have a cloud shell here uh, i have a command prompt here and some of the command that i want to run so to see so you have a command g cloud project list and then you will use impersonate service account and your service account name just copy your service account name put it here uh, g cloud i think it's not project it's projects so it's give you some warning and then uh, you will see that your your projects have been listed so basically g cloud project lead in personate service account so whatever you are you are invoking the call uh, invoking the api call it's going through via the service account impersonating via the service account right um let's say you want to see um, g cloud um compute if i run this one compute list um c cloud compute disk list if i say disk list it's disks actually yeah so i think it should work yeah so right now i don't have any disk so that's why it listed zero items uh, let's do a couple of more commands here just to validate that everything is working so fine if i want to print uh let's say if i want to print the token right print access token impersonate service account and then you put it here so you will get the token right so this you'll get this token and you can use this token to um, you know authorize authenticate to the google cloud platform and, and provision your resource one more thing you can do that uh, which is uh, you can set this in your config so that you don't need to put this in in person it again and again so to do this uh, you can use the command called gcloud config set and uh, call it auth impersonate service account and yeah if you look at gcloud conflict list you'll see this uh, this impersonate account see this one the you now authentication is via going through this impersonate service account and this is my service account you can also change the reason zones and whatever you want to do so uh, the next item is how you want to use this uh, impersonate service account in in the terraform right so if you look at this my terraform code um so in this code i'm basically i'm going to deploy uh, deploy a shared vpc and attaching uh, a couple of service project to my shared vpc and i have already created a module if you look at this i already created a module of shared vpc and i am calling in my dev environment earlier i was calling this uh, using the old method the traditional method using my key uh, but now i want to call it as a 
uh, keyless or impersonations so to impersonate the service account uh, what you gonna do uh, you will need to authenticate the as a user or service account that has permissions to impersonate the terraform service account so you can execute gcloud auth application default login so i have already logged in with my admin and then you can use impersonate service um, you know uh, impersonate service account for a limited time you can also use that so here if you see that you have a um what we call it google token provider right um and here uh, what what we, what what I, I am doing i am actually using the data block google service account access token basically to get the token uh, the provider is going to be my google which i have taken it as alias and the target service account uh, which i just use as an impersonator account and this lifetime right uh, so if you uh, basically what happened that uh, um, when you uh, i mean for the majority of cases when you're impersonating the service account with an access token of 600 seconds or 10 minutes uh, uh, it is it is more than enough basically basically this this particular time lifetime is used uh, to execute this code right so within this time frame your access will be your access token will be revoked right so this is how it works and you can modify this lifetime uh, accordingly right it's pretty easy right uh, uh, in this in this approach i'm not um, i'm not having any keys here right i'm not having any keys i'm simply login with my gcloud auth login default login and that that account which i have showed you earlier if we look at it here um manage access security account um service account open created you can see that this account my this account has already in person it with this uh, service account right so without further ado let's do uh let's deploy this resource uh, right now i have this provider right and here you can see that i have a shared vpc module uh, i have a i'm creating a shared vpc with the name uh, with the vpc network so i'm also creating a network and subnets and then i will make it a shared vpc so this is your network name this is your subnet uh, in in us central i'm going to create two subnets and this is the side range i'm going to assign it and us east i'm going to create two subnets in us east with this side range and auto create subnet network i'm putting it false routing made global and uh, this is my host project right this is my this is the descriptions um default internet gateway routes right now it's false mtu zero and all these um, uh, arguments i put it null and this shared vpc i want to be true because this vpc i want to make it a shared vpc and then here i have created a variable called service projects uh, it's, it's nothing it's a map of string where i have a multiple service projects and uh, these strings are the value uh, on the right side it's this is the project id basically you can create a number of uh, projects here and then you are attaching the service project and this is a resource block google compute shared vpc service project and then you, you are attaching uh, using the each value so whatever this values will be attaching to this uh, shared vpc right so far so good uh, let's uh, do one thing is simply go to integrated terminal i remember that in this provider block i'm not using keys i'm using um in person it's office account right so let's do one thing terraform in it then we can use terraform format validate and then you will have plan okay the plan looks fine and then i'm gonna apply it so this the authentication is going through with the impersonate service account remember that um we are not using any keys in our provider block so everything is now going through your impersonate account uh, which basically your user um whatever user that you have added um, as a part of service account token creator that will become impersonate and uh, the service account will become impersonated right so you can see that um, the resources are being created just wait for a minute so you can see that your terraform has successfully deployed all the resources um using the um you know uh, google service account access token or impersonate using the impersonate service account uh, if you come here and go to vpc network 
you'll see your VPC network and four subnets and then in shared VPC I have um, I have enabled shared VPC uh, and once I enable this shared VPC this project becomes host project and uh, I have also attached to to project as a spoke project uh, which will be attached which has been attached to this host host project and if you just look at the subnet access level um, you'll see that your all your four subnets has been has been uh, added right so uh, this is how you can um, you can use you know uh, the uh, keyless uh, base service account and um, the 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 very uh, the, the advantage of doing this is that um, uh, that it removes the onus on the users from implementing key key management process right around the key rotation or creation and deletion so configuring of service account impersonations also uh, forces us to consider which account should be able to leverage the more privileged service account within our projects and uh, better positions us to think about implementing a least privilege a principle of least privilege within our projects uh, which means only the people who wants the access should be given the access and and the remaining people uh, should be completely really out of reach uh, you know so so there are a number of other benefits and um, and quite a low overhead in implementing service account impersonation and i would highly recommend that you give it a run okay so that's it for today um, thank you for watching